everybody, welcome to the Maria Goyati Corner. Well, this corner is really special because I do various things here. Like I eat, I sleep, I dance, I write amazing poetry actually. But I'm not going to subject you to all my various talents. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook for you. So get into my kitchen so I can cook you some chicken. So what I'm going to make for you today is a lovely minty cashewy yogurty chicken that is not too spicy and yet full of amazing flavor. That's great for kids and great for adults. Uh, the reason I'm dressed like this is because I am ready to go gambling and so I'm quickly going to make this chicken, leave it for the kids and get out for a night out with my girlfriends. Um, okay, little thing about the chicken. I always use chicken that has got skin on it because I really love the fat of the chicken and the amount of oil that comes out of it really adds to the flavor of any dish. Well, but if you want to make this chicken without the skin of the chicken, please feel free, go ahead. It's not going to change the, the essence of the whole dish. We start with two tablespoons of any vegetable oil. And then we add two tablespoons of butter to it. The reason we always add butter after we add the oil is because butter has a lower temperature for burning. Just see that the flame is uh, medium high, it cannot be too low, you need that sizzle. So we're going to add the chicken to this oil and butter that is nice and hot. And we're going to cook it for about 2 minutes on either side so that it seals the juices of the chicken. Just remember that every time you put a lot of meat into a pan, it lowers the temperature of the oil immediately because it has to cook so many different raw, raw pieces. So it will, if it takes a little extra time, it's absolutely alright, you don't have to get worried about it. You know many times recipes say 2 minutes on this side, 2 minutes on that side. There's one thing about cooking is that you cannot keep a timer on and say oh 2 minutes now turn it. You've got to like check it and see is this fine, is it okay. You know, very, very often I have made something and then felt that, you know, you can add a little more cashew or you can add a little more cumin or a little more masala. I just think that when you feel like that when you're cooking, you should go ahead and do it. Because there are no fixed rules about cooking. So it's about two minutes now and if you turn the chicken, it's slightly browned, which is what you're looking for. So this is really nice. A little caramelization is what happens, which is beautiful. Okay, so while this is getting done here, now we will get our ginger garlic paste. So you need about five or six garlic, okay? Put them here, about uh, two tiny little pieces of ginger and I'm going to cut two chilies and put them into the ginger and garlic, okay? And uh, one I'm going to just keep out for the green look. You just put this in, kuto it. So what you, you're not looking for, for a big fat paste, you're just looking for something that's roughly done. This chicken seems done, it's about uh, five minutes now, you've got to add your ginger, garlic and chilli to this. Oh, I love the aroma of this. Nice big pieces of chilli. We can now add our yogurt. Not too uh, watery but just about fine. All you have to do is just whip it a bit. That's it, it's done. Add it to the chicken. A bit of salt. Give it a nice stir now and let this cook for about six to seven minutes. Let the yogurt just, you know, coat each and every piece of the chicken. So while our chicken is getting done, I'm going to add one teaspoon of cumin, coarsely grind it. To this, you add one teaspoon of garam masala. You add about a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. To this now, you add the juice of one lime. 
Okay, if you're getting a little worried about the amount of oil that's inside this, no, there isn't that much. But, you know, when the yogurt gets cooked, it does release an amount of oil. That along with the skin. So it's all very organic and beautiful. I'm not a gambler. At least that's what I tell everybody during Diwali. But I'll give you a few tips on what to do. So you get into this place and you say, well, I'm not, I don't want to gamble. I don't like gambling. I don't even know how to play cards. And then you put on your really sweet gambling face and then take everybody's money. And then say, oh, now I'm sleepy. I'm going home. Bye. So I've taken like a handful of, a fistful of cashews and it goes into my mixy. So I'm going to add the 200 ml cream along with the cashew and make a lovely, yummy, happy paste. So this is my cashew and my cream paste, which I'm now going to be adding to my chicken. You know, it's pretty ironic that this recipe has been given to me by my friend Jaya, who's vegetarian. Give it a good stir again. Just try and coat each and every piece now. Okay, this is yum. The chilli, the cream, the cashew, the spices which are very, very subtle. It's like a burst of flavour in your mouth and yet it's not very overpowering. I'm going to keep it for 2-3 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some rotis ready and serve them with hot, hot rotis. So what we're going to do is two handfuls of fresh mint goes into this yummy chicken. That is it. This is ready. My lovely, yummy, minty, creamy, casual chicken. So if you want to go out gambling, don't forget to feed your family first. You can get blessings from above and you'll win all the card games. So here it is, my yummy mint chicken. Filled with the goodness of fresh mint and yogurt and all things yummy. I will have left served with a lacha parata and if you want to know how to make it, don't forget to click here. I'm going to just get back to this because Hi everybody, welcome to the Maria Goretti Corner and today I'm going to show you my version of baked chicken legs. Well, I've plied my friends and family with a whole lot of baked chicken and all the time they've come, they've eaten and they've lied. Well, more about my lying friends later but right now I've cracked the baked chicken code and I'm going to share it with you. Okay, so this is a very, very easy version of baked chicken. Basically, you can marinate chicken any way you feel like and I'm going to marinate it with parsley. All you need for it, of course, you're going to do it in a mixie, which is the easiest way to do it. Two handfuls of parsley go in. Then what you need is about um, six garlic. So about 10 pieces of cashew. A small teaspoon of oregano fresh oregano. Now, what's important, what gives beautiful flavour is uh, not just the juice of the lime, but also the zest, which means this yellow little part that you're seeing on the outside. So if you can scrape it, you normally get something called a microplane. It just takes off just the yellow part of uh, the, the skin of the lime, not the white. If you get into the white, it gets better. So you do it very with a very light hand. So you just kind of... So this is done and then of course use the juice. Now you need oil which is very very important. Olive oil, any vegetable oil is fine. Just do not use extra virgin olive oil. It is only meant for salads. Some pepper is always good for the soul and some salt. And now just grind it and you're ready. Oh, this is lovely. You know, it does not have to be a paste. Just remember that. If it is coarse, it is absolutely fine. If the garlic is still kept, it's fine. Because garlic, when it gets baked, gets absolutely sweet and tasty. And frankly, you would like to taste bits of garlic in your mouth. So once you have your marinade ready, all you need is your chicken. I've taken chicken legs and I've kept the skin on it. 
because I think chicken, the skin of the chicken is full of fat and gives it natural oils, it releases natural oils which is really tasty. Also it keeps the meat nice and moist because it has a cover over it. So I'm going to chop them, I'm going to cut this at the joint. Okay, so now you have two little pieces. All you have to do is, you know, cut into it a bit so that the marinade gets into it. Okay. Along with the skin, you make a few cuts onto it. This is going to allow the marinade to really soak in, giving you a very juicy, succulent, yum big chicken. So this is my marinade. Oh, this looks lovely and it smells awesome. There is nothing better to marinate food with than your hands. So please don't feel shy using your hands. Okay, and go for it. It's like if you give it to children, what would they do with Play-Doh? That's exactly what you have to do to this chicken. You have to really get it in, you know. Okay, now that I have finished marinating this, what I'm going to do is keep it in the fridge and let it really take it in for three hours. Okay, so every time I make baked chicken, I don't just make baked chicken. I always like to add vegetables. I like to add color to it. So when I went to the market yesterday, I found these beautiful, luscious looking tomatoes on a vine. I just could not resist. So of course, this is going to be the centerpiece of my baked chicken. My chicken has been marinated. It's been three hours. I've been filing my nails till then. Right now, I'm going to get the chicken and we're going to put it into the oven, which has been heated at 190 degrees already. It is preheated. Okay, and we're going to put it in for 25 to 30 minutes. That's about it. Just arrange it around the tomatoes. Yummy! And we take the carrots and we just distribute the carrot on the side or on it, however you want to. Put some salt on the tomato and a bit on the carrot. Okay. And then of course, drizzle a little olive oil on it. That is it. And then a little bit of pepper. You know what? A little butter kill nobody. So that's what you're gonna go into. <laughs> Tiny little pieces of butter. And now we are done. This is going to go into the oven. Always in the middle of the oven so that you know the circulation of warm air is, is equal. Ah, Voila, guys! This is it. Okay, this is totally yum. Now all you have to do is to these juices on the side, just add your argula. Keep it for a bit in the pan and then just swirl it around. So here's presenting yummy, fresh, my favorite herb, parsley baked chicken with lots of love from Maria Scorno. Well, today on the Maria Gretti Corner, we're going to make you a beautiful Christmas meal. You know, no meal of Christmas is actually complete without a big stuffed baked bird on the table. Well, turkeys are baked all over the world, but I prefer the flesh of a chicken. So today I'm going to make for you a baked chicken. Today what I'm going to make for you is a little marriage between what I learned at Tante Marie and what I grew up eating with my mom. It's actually 80% my mom and 20% Tante Marie. So we've put in a glug of olive oil. To this olive oil, of course, I'm going to add a bit of butter. Now to this, the first thing you will do is you will fry your kishmish. Now that the raisins are nice and puffy, all you have to do is take them out, keep them to one side and then add your cashew or your kaju. Okay, so do not overcook this. 
just make it ever slightly so brown. Now that it's done, we keep it to the other side. And now to this, we add our onions. I'm going to just use a handful. I don't think I'm going to need the whole onion. You have to cook the onion till it is nice and translucent. This is looking very nice. At this point of time, you can add a pinch of salt. To this, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoon of garlic. And I'm going to add chilies. To this now, I'm going to add the chicken liver. You put your chopped chicken sausage. Now I'm just going to put a little pepper. Now this is done. We're going to take it out. We're going to leave the rest of the oil in it. We're just going to take the stuffing out. Okay, now that our stuffing is all cool, it's time for us to prep the bird. And by the bird, I mean our chicken for today. So just see that whenever you do get a chicken for stuffing, it's at least more than one and a half kg and it has all its skin intact. The reason it needs to have its skin intact is so that when it cooks, you get this beautiful golden brown crust on it, which is really nice. Well, this is what my mom used to do, so I'm going to do exactly that. She would take a little butter and she would take East Indian bottle masala. Okay, about half a teaspoon and then a little salt and then just mix it all together. So once you've done this, you just smear it over your chicken really beautifully. Don't feel shy. Now, I'm going to take 25 grams of butter that has been diced and chilled so it stays in cubes. To this, I'm going to add a little more of our East Indian bottle masala. Stir it around and then I'm going to put these pieces of butter into crevices at the thigh. So basically then you make little pockets with your finger and you put the butter in. This butter is going to cook this chicken into the most incredible flavor. Now, with the same hands filled with butter, you're going to take your stuffing, put it into a bowl. Into this, you're going to add your bread crumbs to the stuffing. This looks great. I'm going to add the parsley. Okay, now that our stuffing is nice and ready here, we need to put the stuffing into the bird. Well, uh, very often the stuffing is put underneath the skin of the breast of the bird. But my mom always added the stuffing into the cavity of the stomach. And so that's exactly where my stuffing is going. Then, I always use a toothpick because I don't like to stitch it and then pull out. So I just kind of put the toothpick and get it together. What I'm basically doing is I'm just shutting all the seams of the chicken so that it kind of steams up inside and cooks it and keeps the meat absolutely soft. Okay, so now I'm going to tie the legs of this bird together so that it gives it a nice compact shape. All right. He's done. Now, you remember the pan in which we put, we made our stuffing? Well, nothing goes for waste. This chicken goes straight into this pan. All right. Now, another thing I like to do is put bacon on it. So I'm going to be putting some chicken bacon strips on this bird. And then you can just cut this up and put it along with the stuffing. It's absolutely fine. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to add some onions on the side. We're just going to roughly chop it and put it in with some olive oil. So just like this, you just leave it inside the pan and then just take some carrot. Okay, put it onto the side. Here it is. What I'm going to do is now add a little olive oil 
just on top of the vegetables okay ever so little i'm also going to take some rosemary and just sprinkle it on these vegetables here okay i'm going to be adding some garlic but just as is okay nothing fancy just as it is i'm going to just take it off take a bit of this of the skin off and just add it as it is so basically sometimes you can also add potatoes right here we have an incredible recipe for baked potatoes that we had already done at the maria greti corner if you want to add that to this recipe just click here so our oven has been nicely heated our chicken is 1 and 1/2 kg it's going to take us 1 hour 40 minutes in the oven but i'm going to take it out after 1 hour i'm going to get rid of all this bacon and then nicely brown it for the rest of the time okay guys here it is our chicken is beautifully browned but it needs about 20 minutes more so i'm going to take the bacon out okay guys so as you see all the vegetables here and all this caramelization that has happened is going to be used for the sauce but right now we're going to put this chicken back into the oven for 20 minutes so that it gets nicely browned okay so while our chicken is spending its last 20 minutes in the oven getting beautifully roasted i am going to just make a small little garnish which we're going to serve along with the chicken so we're making it with mushrooms so you're going to do a little glug of olive oil and of course a tiny bit of butter that goes with it lovely a tablespoon of finely finely minced garlic as soon as it releases its, its aroma you go for the mushrooms you know mushrooms do release a lot of their own water and so you've got to cook it till the water releases and then dries up a little pepper all this needs is very little pinch of salt it needs about 2 minutes more and it's completely done here it is a beautiful baked chicken before you serve this you need to let it rest for a bit okay so now you've got to put a foil around the chicken because you've got to let the chicken rest for at least 15 minutes before you serve it So in this 15 minutes what I'm going to do is I'm going to deglaze the pan with some port wine and I'm going to make for us a lovely gravy which I'm going to serve along with this chicken with shrimps. Okay now what we're going to do is deglaze the pan. So I'm going to put in one whole cup of red wine and let it just take in all the tiny bits that have been left here in the pan by the chicken. To this I'm going to wait for it to come to a slight little bubble which it already has. I'm going to put in 1 cup of chicken stock and let bring it to a boil basically. So to this I'm now going to add 1 tablespoon of all purpose flour to thicken our gravy. And now let it just cook. So we are ready now our chicken is baked our sauce is done. and we are ready to serve it so here it is baked chicken only from the maria gareti corner well so if you like what we made here today don't forget to comment like share and subscribe to the maria gareti corner